Hi, and welcome to the weekly financial modeling tips by the Startup Station. We're going to learn how to calculate sales commission with the cap, right? And so what this means is that you are paying people a percentage of the sales, but then the maximum of what they're going to get is capped per year, right? So here we're going to make all assumptions per salesperson. So first we need to understand which sales are subject to the sales commission. It may be only some revenue streams, it may be new sales, it may also be recurring sales, right? The ones that are from existing clients. Uh, you need to understand the same, uh, sales commission percentage and an annual cap. So let's do an example where we need to determine how much you're gonna pay to a salesperson. Uh, we're gonna assume that the commission is 20% and um, the annual sales cap for salesperson is 25,000. And notice here that I'm calculating the revenues per salesperson, right? So if you have multiple salespeople, you may do sales cap per sales force via a similar logic, right? So the first step is to calculate the sales commission they're going to generate each month as if there were no restrictions. We're going to take new sales or whatever uh, is the amount of revenue subject to sale in case um, this is not just new sale and multiplied it by the commission percentage, which is 20%. Okay, now where is this revenues will come from? This will come from your business model, right? From your go-to-market strategies and the conversion logic from go-to-market strategies to revenues, right? But to this exercise, this is the input. Now what we're going to do is to calculate the cumulative sales commission right so that uh, we can uh, understand how much money they are making per year so how we're we going to do that so for the first month it's going to be just the amount for that first month and then we're going to add the amount from the previous month to the amount for the current month okay now the maximum sales commission is what we have here right um and we're going to just place that down because that doesn't change Okay, so this is a very successful salesperson. For example, they're going to keep, uh, hit their cap uh, in um, uh, month six, right? And so the allowed sales commission is going to be um, basically the maximum, the minimum, uh, the minimum between what they've made and the maximum, right? And so you will see that once we reach uh, the limit, um, it will not grow anymore. And this is what you can take from the end of the month as the amount of money you will pay to that salesperson. Now notice that this total sales commission um, that you would have paid them actually, right? Uh, which um, is actually should be calculated from row five would have been $300,000, right? So this is actually, um, not really good incentives. Uh, I think if you were to create incentives for this specific case, you would probably be better off to put a hundred thousand uh, cap so that the cap is hit much later. And then they are getting rewarded for the sales that they're bringing the company. Even though they're getting a third, they're still getting a pretty good deal. And there we go. Please, if you like this video, share it with your friends, comment below. And to learn more, sign up to our YouTube channel and to learn how to model uh, your startup and create credible financials and accelerate your funding process, sign up for our free masterclass, build credible financials for your venture. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week.